Hey guys, it's Spooker4590, and welcome to a game that needs no introduction. This is what many consider to be Platinum Games' magnum opus, uh, well, until Bayonetta 2. <laughs> and uh, this is a game I've been wanting to do on the channel for a very, very long time. In fact, this is a perfect candidate for my annual Stylistic Violence Appreciation Day on June 19th. But uh, honestly, Bayonetta 3 is probably coming out in 2019, and we haven't even done the first two games, so we gotta get going, going, going. So what uh, What perfect time than witch hunting season, which is October, which is why I'm here, Spooker, instead of Turner. Don't worry, we're practically the same person. This lore is really messed up. <laughs> um, okay, so Bayonetta, uh, this is a game I have always really, really wanted to play, um... And I never could because I never had a console to play it on. And then it finally came out on the Wii U, um, which I was very excited for. And I purchased it, and I played a little bit of it, and then I never really got into it, sadly. Um, and here we are uh, a couple of years later, uh, and the Switch version is out. And it doesn't really add anything new over the Wii U version, but I picked up the Switch version as well. And forced myself to play through the game because I, I needed I needed to play it because everyone says it's really good and uh, my thoughts on this game are complicated but let me just say that Bayonetta 2 is an action masterpiece so but first I gotta get through Bayonetta 1 which is by no means a bad game or anything it's great but it, it definitely uh it hasn't aged well in some aspects but it's still it's still a fun time and I have a feeling I'm gonna enjoy it more on a second playthrough because this will be my second playthrough but uh, without further ado, let's just start a new game. Uh, this game is brutally difficult, even on normal, um, to the point where, like, on, on a first playthrough, you're probably not going to get anything higher than a stone reward on every single fight in the game. Um, that being said, uh, I'm going to stick it out on a normal, because that's the way the game is meant to be played, and just... The game, I feel like it's more, this game specifically is more fun uh, when you actually have to try. On very easy, like, it's it's way too easy, and easy isn't much better, so normal is what we're going to be sticking with. Aw, oh, damn, my game glitched, and it couldn't even load Bayonetta's model. I'm just controlling nothing right now. Like these Kingdom Hearts-esque... <laughs> <laughs> quotes worlds in dreams or whatever nonsense <laughs> oh don't worry this game has plenty of nonsense oh boy oh damn this gets me hyped <laughs> Okay, welcome to Bayonetta, and I already got hit. Uh, this is uh, the uh, your typical uh, ridiculous over-the-top intro that uh, this uh, this company is kind of known for, almost. Um, and it just throws you right into it, because you don't even get a tutorial on how the controls are. You are just thrown in, and here is probably one of the most memorable set pieces in the entire game. It's so memorable, in fact, that it was even used as the uh, Smash Brothers stage for when Bayonetta got into Smash, which we don't talk about. But uh, regardless, uh, yeah, this intro is 
overwhelming to say the least. And again, on, on a first playthrough, you're gonna be you're gonna be a, a complete disaster trying to fend off all these enemies. There's you're not in any danger at all. But just I don't know. They they definitely went for for style uh, in this intro. It really really shows. Thankfully, I've already you know know what the controls are in this game. So. And it's weird because the the game will be giving us a tutorial on how the controls actually work, but not in this intro section. So yeah, you can actually uh, enjoy some uh, <laughs> madness happening in the background as well as all this, uh, this uh, story telling at the bottom. The plot of this game uh, isn't isn't the hardest to follow, but it still is uh, it's it's pretty wacky. I'm just gonna say that. Years after the balance was lost, the war had ended. Oh god. I have to give a special mention already to the uh, unbelievable soundtrack, because uh, that's one of the, definitely the best parts about this game, for honestly, is just how incredible the soundtrack is. You're going to be hearing a lot of different kinds of music, too. You're going to like have epic choir-style music. You're going to be hearing hearing classical music, uh, just lots of different uh, different types of music mixing together, and uh, it, it really works. It, it actually forms a, co a, co a cohesive soundtrack. Uh, this is insane right now. <laughs> Obviously, I'll get into the, uh, the specifics of combat once we're not in this nightmare, nightmare scape, wherever the hell this is, on the broken clock tower. Everything the light touches, <laughs> and so on and so forth. No, I'm okay. <laughs> oh, oh, good. <laughs> you know, it's just the apocalypse is seemingly happening. But as long as you're okay, we die together. Oh. Well, that was sudden. Buffalo of Blood. <laughs> That's a movie I'd pay to see. What would even be the plot of that movie? I've always loved random movie posters uh, whenever they're in the background. Nice hat. Um, don't drink the Kool-Aid. No, too late. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, okay, that was random. <laughs> okay. So, uh, here is the uh, home menu of the game, essentially. This is uh, this game works just by... Uh, you basically choose what level you want to play. It's very it's just a linear action game, after all. So, yeah, let's just uh, start in the prologue. Why not? You can already tell this game has a very, very lengthy intro. <laughs> just, Just bear with it. Team Little Angels, which uh, is the uh, development like team, obviously that uh, formed in Platinum. Platinum again, if you are not not aware, is the remnants of Clover Studios, uh, which they once Clover was shut down, they formed their own studio, Platinum Games, with a lot of the same people, including Hideki Kamiya, who is the director and writer of this game, who's directed. Tons of uh, critically acclaimed games, Okami, Beautiful Joe, Resident Evil 2, Wonderful 101, and so on and so forth. Pretty much everything he touches turns to gold, so uh, this is, again, one of his, uh, many people consider his, uh, one of, some of his best work. 
I still don't get why the hell you dragged me out here. Oh, Devil May Cry. That's a huge one that uh, you can definitely see the influence of in this game. Hey, bet you can't guess what today is. Oh. Hello. None. People been waiting for Hello, none. Hell, look around. There's no love lost for old Humpty Dumpty. But you gotta keep the outfit happy. We don't take care of him, they take care of us. And I prefer my shoes made out of rubber, not concrete. <laughs> but hey, it's that kind of town. Without good hearted souls like us to put these bastards six feet under, where'd society be? Of course, the pay's not bad either. <laughs> Jesus, you really get into this shit, don't you? If it were me, I'd be praying he ends up barbecue. Or at least sunny side up. <laughs> oh, I really don't want to see what that looks like. A sunny side up corpse. The only way this guy's meeting the Lord is if God's hungry for breakfast. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't seem like his style of humor is. <laughs> doesn't seem like she shares it. Cute little fuckers, I tell you what. Well then, adios. Hey, no littering. Oh God, <laughs> for littering you will incur God's wrath. I see them. They are instruments of God, descending upon his heavenly rays to earth. Oh hmm. my God! Dear Lord, grant us guidance, and keep safe the souls of our loved ones for all eternity. Whoa. Damn, does she do this every time? <laughs> Wonder how many times they do it a day. Whoa. What the? Oh, jeez, actual angels. Third sphere, affinity. Psych! <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, well, the cutscene was so, or sort of taking itself seriously, and now, uh, yeah, now, now you're playing Bayonetta. <laughs> uh, here we go. <laughs> God, that must be terrifying from his perspective because it's, everything's just exploding. He doesn't even know what's going on. What the hell? Best superpower. <laughs> you die, and I'm gonna have to go back in that hole chasing after the money you owe. Yes. Oh, for fuck's sakes! <laughs> Do you naughty little angels deserve a good banking? Oh my god! <laughs> Beautiful. 
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> I hope you love listening to Fly Me to the Moon because this game loves it, and so do I. You know what else I love? TNA! <laughs> Thankfully, this game loves it too. Um, it was a little too... <laughs> <laughs> now, this is cheeky. Throwing me these cheap toys. Oh, that looks pretty good to me. I've got quantities. <laughs> I've never seen someone <laughs> prefer that over uh, over quality, but whatever. Whatever gets the job done. Oh my god. <laughs> The cutscenes of this game probably are the best part about it. You just... they're all insane. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Screw it, I'll throw that too! I'm sure she'll find some way to kill angels with this too! <laughs> Holy shit! minutes of the game no more shots from me Bayonetta. Okay, and after that, uh, whatever the hell that was, we finally get to actually play the game. After uh, some forced tutorials. <laughs> Don't worry, the game is pretty rapid fire after this. Okay, so your main controls are uh, X is your basic punch, which really throws me off because of every other action game I played, it's always Y is punch and X is. Uh, you know, y is light and X is heavy, but in this. X is light, and A is heavy, actually. Uh, definitely strange controls, at least from the games I've played. But yeah, essentially you have punches and kicks, and uh, yeah, this game has an insane combo meter, as you can see. Like, I'm not actually sure the amount of combos there are, but as you can see, like, there are, there are I'm pretty sure there are hundreds, and this isn't even with, this isn't even all of our moves, essentially. Like, there's just an insane amount you can actually do in this game. But that's not the only thing you're going to be doing. Obviously, you're going to be dodging enemies, an onslaught of enemies' attacks, and uh, using uh, the trigger button, you can just easily dodge, giving you full invincibility, uh, very quick too. You can act really quickly out of it as well. Um, but uh, the main mechanic of dodging comes from Witch Time, which I'm not sure if this was the first game to do it, but this is a very popular mechanic nowadays, and that's essentially you fail. <laughs> Uh, essentially, which time is exactly what you think it does, which is when you dodge in the last second, time slows down, and you get to really lay the smack down on enemies uh, and just obliterate them. And this is definitely the most, uh, probably the most fun mechanic in the game. There's a couple of other like advanced mechanics that you, you can get into, but uh, it's not uh, not really pertinent right now for this first little fight right here. One kind of annoying thing about this first fight is that we are actually significantly nerfed right now um, because. Uh, one one thing you might have noticed in the intro is the uh, Wicked Weave attacks. And that's actually something that the game takes away from us uh, for this little fight. So, uh, won't actually get to experience that for a little bit longer. Thankfully, we do have full access to all of our combos and Witch Time and stuff, just without the help of Wicked Weaves, which is essentially combo finishers. Really powerful ones. Not sure why this, uh, this uh, little tutorial isn't going away. It's kind of an eyesore. There we go. 
Okay, so again, this is Affinity. This is basically your main enemy you're going to be seeing the most of throughout the game. They don't really have anything very special about them. Uh, even even their attacks are pretty easily telegraphed. Uh, again, enemies will uh, flash yellow, and uh, it'll also have a sound effect tied to it, like right there. Um, again, when you first play this game, it's going to be you're going to have a real real hard time. Uh, definitely, uh, it is really hard to get uh, to get into because uh, oh my god. Go Bayonetta. Oh my god, enemies can still hit and hurt me doing that. If this was Resident Evil 4, I would have full roundhouse kick invincibility frames, and it would have been amazing. Um, but yeah, uh, getting used to like how all the combo system works, uh, and the, uh, obviously the, oh damn, we almost had a Punisher attack right there, and obviously how uh, the dodge timing and everything works, uh, it def definitely takes a while to get used to, because this game will kick your ass when you first start playing it. Uh, again, I said I said this a little earlier, but I'm actually kind of excited because uh, my first playthrough of this game wasn't uh, wasn't stellar, but uh, I'm after playing Bayonetta 2 and loving 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 Bayonetta 2 so much. I'm actually kind of excited to go back to the first game just because I feel like uh, some of uh, my experience of playing both of those games will actually carry over into this one finally, so I can actually uh, maybe start maybe get better than Stone every single time. So this is Bullet Climax. This is actually a, a special move that you have access right, right off the bat, and basically you just spin the control stick, and uh, then you can just rapid fire your guns. So it's really not a damaging attack. You do get ridiculous moments like this, um, but uh, what it is a useful attack for is the uh, tons of flying enemies. If you have a bunch of enemies that have a uh, low health, you can uh, do that. You can also uh, you can also shoot your guns uh, during combos, but that's something that the game will get into a little bit later. There we go. Sorry, it's a, it's a little uh, <laughs> little information overload. I I know. I'm sorry. Again, we're still in kind of the intro mode where the game is kind of just going ham and, and showing us a bunch of. Uh, I actually got witch time off of that. Nice. Um, showing us like not really uh, giving us everything to work with. Just kind of introducing everything slowly and uh, not really. Um, I don't know. They're just kind of letting you go ham, essentially, with with these uh, like fodder enemies. Sorry, I actually dodged off of that guy because I was worried. Because the last time I did that, an enemy came right behind me and ruined my day. Oh, sweet! That's everything. Oh God! <laughs> Not dead yet. <laughs> Get back here. Woo! <laughs> um. Oops. <laughs> damn it, who did that? I just bought the damn thing. <laughs> hey, I saved your life. I saved your life, and now I'm about to end the hairs. There's no quarter for you in this world. This is my order of no corner, and you are not allowed! There we go. Sweet. Oh, that's actually a bigger enemy right there. Still, definitely watch out a little bit for that guy. Oops. Nice. Oop. Lots of button mashing in this game, by the way. And, like, you, you think that's like a lot of button mashing during combat? You've seen nothing yet. Like the game really, really likes button mashing. Uh, it, it, it unfortunately has like a lot of. Uh, oh my god, we just murdered that guy, and he's dead. <laughs> Gold medal in the first combat. I, I'll take it. Uh, Radon should be paying me for even touching these toys. <laughs> you have any idea how much this is gonna cost to fix? How the fuck do I always get wrapped up in this shit? And then mm, engine still purrs nicely. Now, about this little thing you've been looking into for me, Enzo. Let's have a quick chat. See? This is why I told you I was going home. I just got held up in the air by some invisible things and you want an intelligence briefing 
It never stops with you. <laughs> you keep belly aching like that, and you're liable to wake Eggman from the dead. And I don't think either. Rest in peace, Robotnik. Catch you later, Bayonetta. This game was published by Sega before it was published by Nintendo, for the record. Before the shit hits the fan. Wait. I'm pretty sure it's already hit the fan. Do you see what that clock the tower Eggman? scene? Such a popular chap. I bet they hate him down there as much as you did when he was up here. We just need to make sure he won't come crawling back when they kick him out. Nothing a flower bed can't fix. Fill her up. <laughs> you heard the man. Finish up in five minutes, or you're walking home to your cake and candle. <laughs> what? Don't you leave me here? 